Hi everyone, I will talk about login and logout applications using JSP. The login page has been designed. If you have entered username and password, you click on login button, it is redirected to your applications. If you are a new user, if you click on the register button, enter data, John, mail ID, Username, John, Password, John. Just to enter the register button. Thank you for register. Please log in to continue. Click on login. If I enter the wrong credentials, you click on the login button. The username or password is not correct. Get back to the login. Then you entered proper username and password. Again, you click on login button. Login successful. Welcome to home page. If you click on logout button, you can log out the application. Again, it has been redirected to the login page. If you click on logout, again, it comes to the login page. Then you can prevent the back button over here. Click on Again, the same page has been displayed. You can't go to the back. Because once you log out the application, again, you need to log in. The login form has been designed. Label username, input type equal text, name equal user. Password is the label, input type equal password. If you click on login button, the page will redirect to the login.jsp. Then I will explain the login.jsp. See here, we get the data, username and password over here. This statement is been used for loading the driver class, Oracle driver class. This statement is been used for connection establishment. The statement object have been created. It is responsible for executing the queries. Then here, result set. Execute query, select star from table name. The next method which checks whether row is available or not. If the row is available, it returns true. Otherwise, which returns null. Okay. RS dot get string. Get string is a method name. The four is a field name. It equals to the user ID and you check the password. Get string of five equals password. Then if the condition is true then flag value becomes 1, then break, then it comes out of the loop. If flag equals 0, the username and password is not correct, then back to the login, again which will redirect to the index.html. Then if the credentials are correct, I want to create the session for that user, the session.set attribute, the name of the session, then user ID. After that, the page will redirect to the welcome.jsv. On load equal no back, the function will be called because this code has been used for preventing the back button. The event dot persisted because if the page is loaded from the server, if the page is cached, then no back method will get executed. Then at that time, you can able to prevent the back button. It is also be used for Preventing the back button, you must write this code. Then after that, login successful, welcome to home page. If you click on logout, the page will redirect to the logout.jsp. To prevent the back button of the browser, this code has been written. The request dot get session invalidate. This method will use it to expire the sessions. Then it is being redirected to the index.html. Let me explain about registration page. The registration form has been designed. It consists of first name, last name, email ID, the username and password. If you click on the register button, it will be redirected to the registration process.jsp. I will get the data of first name, last name, email ID, 
the user ID and password. Then this is used for loading the driver class. This is used for connection establishment. The statement used for creating the statement object. Execute update method is been used for update the database. Insert into table name users one. Their first name, last name, email, user ID, password, and values. The F name, L name, email, user ID, and password. Then, how do I know whether data has been inserted or not? This method will return a positive number. The data has been inserted successfully. Otherwise, which returns a negative number. I greater than zero. Then it has been inserted successfully. Thanks for register. Please log in to continue. Then otherwise. The registration is failed. I will check the credential in the database because some data is there. One row is already been inserted. Once again, I will check. John, John, click on login. Login successful. Welcome to home page. If you click on logout, then it comes to the login page. If you click on back button. It is not working. Then once you log out the page, you need to log in. Okay, at that time the back button will not be work. Okay, this is where you can design login and logout applications using JSP. If any doubt regarding the, uh, regarding this application, you contact me through comment box. Thank you. Thank you all for watching my video.